Finding effective ways to demonstrate shape and form in our design sketching is a very useful skill for the designer. We often need to get our thoughts down on paper quickly, so the ability to communicate the three-dimensional qualities of the products we're sketching is important if we're to make our thoughts easily understood. As with any type of design sketching, we should always start with construction lines. The sketches that result will only ever be as good as our construction lines allow. In other words, if we think we can jump this stage, or in some way economise with it, we'll find ourselves disappointed with the work we produce. We're laying down these construction lines for a range of reasons. Essentially, we're mapping out our ideas and forming them on paper as they form in our minds. And because we work very lightly at this stage, we can be changing our thoughts and ideas as we go. Though I'm building my shape here in two dimensions, I'm visualising it as a three-dimensional form. Placing the object within a hand helps with this, but it's simple shading that will convince a third party that they're looking at a 3D object. I'm limiting my shading to three tones, light, medium and dark, and this will allow me to create shape and form in my sketches. Each tone simply consists of parallel lines. The closer the lines are to each other, the darker the tone. You can see how tone can graduate from light to dark within one area by placing the lines closer to each other. The lines can be cross-hatched in order to further darken the tones. Applying this simple shading method to a distinct area gives form to the shape by representing a surface partially hidden from a light source. The further the surface is hidden, the darker the tone required to represent this. In this example, you can see that I'm imagining a light source that's somewhere over to the top right hand side of the page. The use of a darker and thicker line here to outline my shapes gives a greater contrast and helps us to differentiate between the tones. Here I'm using the same process to add contrast to my sketch. I'm focusing my use of darker, thicker lines to the areas furthest away from the light source. My sketch takes shape because we can follow the form of a surface as it curves away from the light source. The simplicity of this shading process enables the designer to work with speed and efficiency. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Remember to select the notifications tab to be the first to hear of my next video. 
You can find lots of downloadable resources on my website at www.productdesignermaker.com and have a look at what's going on behind the scenes at Product Designer Maker on Instagram. Thanks for watching.